reports of chaos and confusion downtown after a series of explosions in downtown Indianapolis. The good news is no one was injured. The blasts are under investigation as IPL tells us the explosions were caused by a network protector that failed. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez has more details on that investigation and what you need to know. If you're walking north of Meridian Street, this is as far as you can go. As you can see, the yellow tape is up, and that's because in front of the city securities building here on Maryland Street, IPL crews are working after a series of underground explosions that were seen and felt by people in the downtown area on 1.30 this afternoon. Now, there have been a number of underground incidents for IPL dating back since 2005. We've recorded more than a dozen. The company does say that in spite of what happened today, the downtown network in Indianapolis is safe. No system is without failure, and these things happen. And I think when you kind of look back on the last five years, um, these incidents aren't, um, don't occur as often as people think. And so when it does happen, um, and especially in a location like Meridian at lunchtime, um, it's, it's a big deal. And we take this seriously, um, but we have invested and we will continue to invest the resources and the time to make sure that this is a safe network. And it is a safe network. As you can see behind me, Maryland Street at this hour is now reopened. IPL crews do not expect to know the cause of what happened today until sometime mid-tomorrow. In downtown Indianapolis, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. IPL pinpoints the explosion to what is known as a network protector, which is like a big circuit breaker. The company says crews are trying to determine exactly what caused the network protector to fail today. That finding might not come until tomorrow. We should also point out that several businesses are closed due to power outages, and they include, they include Naples and Ocean Air and Carson Prairie Scott Department Store.